All right, just taking a quick look at this Viotech D2800. <laughs> and the D stands for dual volt or uh, duo volt, what they're saying here. So this is, <laughs> this is kind of a first. This is uh, actually quite exciting to take a look at this thing because, well, check this out. <laughs> you actually get this switch. You can actually switch between 120 and 240 on this thing. And we do get this, like, this is kind of a cool little switch too. Like this kind of like turn turnkey style switch like a real you know big beefy serious switch it feels like you're really you know you're really doing something right they, they, they could have put just like some kind of little uh you know toggle switch on that but no they kind of a you know kind of a really cool uh design detail there and then on the output on this thing they do mention so if you're in if you're in the you know the 240 volt mode here with this uh you know 1450 uh outlet basically you're you're able to do up to 2800 watts uh, so, you know, pretty good. That's, that's a continuous rating. So that's like, I don't know, something like 11, 11 and a half amps or something like that. You know, pretty good. I mean, you know, pretty good output on that. And then if you're, if you're in the, the 120 volt here, they do give you uh, four, as you see here, that they do give you four uh, 20 amp, you know, sockets on there. But actually it's, it's limited to only 2000 watts, uh, you know, if you're using the 120. And uh, so that's like, you know, 16 and a half amps or something like that. And this thing is using LFP batteries. So, uh, yeah, you know, we kind of expect to see that nowadays. But um, 1920 watt hours on this thing. So, you know, almost two kilowatt hours. And then for the, the charging here, you know, basically the start with the, the wall charger. So they do mention uh, 1600 watts going into that. Now, again, there's, there's no mention with this unit if you can... If, there's no mention of an app, you know, if you can kind of change that speed. But still, you know, 1600 watts, uh, you know, most circuits in your house should be able to handle that. And then for the solar, we do get, you know, decent specs on this thing. It's not bad. Um, they're saying up to 650 watts. And we do get, uh, well, we'll talk about the, we'll show the, all the connections a little bit later. But there is an XT60 connector on there. And there, well, they do include an MC4 to XT60 uh, cable with it. Um, but the you know as far as the specs goes so yeah 650 watts and then the voltage it's actually decent it's 12 to 80 volts and the only thing is it is a little limited on the amps 8.6 amps which is kind of interesting that i don't know why they couldn't um you know i, I don't know why they couldn't have just given us 10 amps on that that would have been a little bit better but you know still this is a quite usable you can still you know pretty easily get some decent power into this thing all right, and here's just a, a better look at all the output ports here, at least the, the ones on the front. So we do get the, you know, the standard car socket. And then we do get these 5521 output ports, you know, which is some, somehow a lot of these new, newer power stations are kind of seem to be skimping out on these. So I know a lot of people like to, you know, they find uses for these. They do mention that these are limited to 8 amps, and that's probably, you know, combined. You probably can't do 8 out of both. But still, you know, nice to have that. We do get 4... Uh, quick charges, you know, USB A's on there, and kind of interesting that they separated those two. And then the the Type C is actually they do, they do claim that these are both 100 watts, so uh, you know, good stuff there. And then there's that XT60 uh, solar input on there, MPPT of course. And we do get a light on the back, so um, they don't give any details on you know if the different modes or whatever, but um, there is a light on the back. I assume there's some different modes, hopefully some different brightness settings. And, you know, a light on the back is actually my favorite, my favorite design because you can get some light and it's not going to blind you, right? So, um, yeah, good stuff there. And then they do mention this, uh, let's see, you know, seamless power, always on. So they do mention kind of a, a little bit that this does have uh, un uninterrupted performance. So, um, you know, again, they don't mention this. Like, this is not like something they really highlight. But they do mention in the specs that it does have a UPS, but... Um, probably the reason they're not really pushing this is because they're saying 30 uh, milliseconds or less. So that's kind of like, you know, maybe it, it, it might work, it might not work. Not, uh, not really something that you can count on. So that's a little bit disappointing. I think, uh, you know, this probably would have been maybe the perfect unit for a lot of people out there if this had like a 10 millisecond UPS. And now this is interesting. They're, they're saying that there's an expandable unit here. Uh, basically, it looks like just they're kind of hooking up two of the main units together. 
um, and they do say double the power. So that's, that's kind of interesting to me that that almost sounds like you might be able to double the inverter output on it, you know, because if it was just the, the battery capacity, I mean, I would assume they would just say double the capacity, but you know, this isn't available yet, you know, notice that coming soon. So we don't have all the specs and details on that, but you know, with this, you know, 120, 240 volt switch, if they are able to kind of double the output on those inverters, that could really make this thing uh, quite useful, right? So, uh, you know, we'll just have to kind of see what, what ends up happening with that. And then just the, you know, last few quick little notes here. Uh, they do mention 30 decibels, uh, whisper quiet operation. Again, they, and they kind of show, it looks like they're showing the, the wall charger cord going in there, which, you know, they claim 1600 watts. If they're able to, to have this thing charging up at 1600 watts at 30 decibels, that, that'd be pretty impressive. I, I kind of have my doubts about that. Um, you know, maybe that's at, you know, slower, again, I don't, I don't know if you can even change the charging speed on that. Maybe, maybe that's a slower, uh, solar charging speed, who knows? Um, so I'd like to kind of see some, some testing on that to kind of <laughs> confirm that. They do mention robust construction. Um, yeah, you know, maybe there's, it looks like there's basically, they, they got these four, uh, metal rods that kind of help clamp this thing together and you probably, you know, it's where the, it's basically, you know, screwed down together. So that's, you know. I don't know if it, I call this robust, but that's, it's a good idea to have that and not just all plastic, especially this thing does weigh about 50 pounds, you know, which is expected. So um, yeah, better than nothing there. All right, and now just to kind of cap this thing off with a quick design analysis, there's, there's, there's really not too much to talk about with this thing. It's, you know, there, there's not a lot to get excited about with this design. I mean, it's pretty basic. Uh, you know, obviously the, the color scheme here with the, the lighter top, part, you know, is, you know, a lot of these brands are copying EcoFlow, you know, that's fine. Uh, the rest of the case design, you know, pretty basic, pretty generic, but there's nothing wrong with it, right? I mean, we, we do get a nice flat top. We do get the, the handles kind of tucked into the corner here, which I, you know, really like to see. And one, one actually a little bit interesting design detail here is we, we do get the, you know, the cooling vents here are kind of tucked in where the, the, the recessed area of the handle. Which actually, I, you know, I first saw this on the, the BioLite, uh, those BioLite models. And uh, it's just, it's kind of a good, good idea, right? I mean, it's kind of like a two for one type of thing. And it's really actually, uh, from an engineering standpoint, uh, it's, just, it's just good. It's good design because the, the cooling, you're not going to be able to seal these vents off, right? This is something like, you know, imagine if, uh, if you really like put this thing straight up against the wall or a flat surface, right? especially since the handle does flare out a little bit, you know, it's going to be very difficult to kind of seal those uh, vents off. But even if you did, right, I mean, maybe, maybe you push this thing up <laughs> against a pillow or something, right? Uh, even if you did that, then the, the air can still escape, you know, out the top here, right? So, um, so yeah, that's just, you know, good design. Now, you know, the rest of the design, as I mentioned, there's, there's not too much to talk about. Um, but I do like seeing kind of this, you know, big screen, you know, front and center right in the, right there, you know, so, uh, and it, it's just, you know, it's an, it's an attractive design. It's just simple, basic, you know, again, nothing wrong with it. So pretty good, actually, you know, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. And then just the last, you know, quick little note with this, you know, 120, 240 volt. It is nice that they, you know, that they mentioned the proper voltage on this, right? I mean, still, again, a lot of these power stations somehow in 2023, they're still putting like 110 volt inverters on these things. Now, I'd really like to see, especially with the being able to switch this back and forth, I'd really like to be able to see someone get their hands on this and actually test the, the actual output voltage on this. I'd really be curious to see what it what it's actually putting out in the, the different modes. But still, you know, uh, you know, it's a good sign that they're at least listing the proper voltage. So yeah, that's just a the quick recap on this D2800 from Biotech or I don't know, is it Biotech or is it Live Power? You know, this is manufactured by Live Power, visit Live Power store. And uh, you know, it's, if you're looking at this thing on Amazon too, and you're trying to buy this thing, you actually got to click over here to see all buying options. And then we do get this uh, seller here, Sunshine Acres US. I don't know what, you know, if it's, if it's made by Live Power, it should be sold by Live Power, right? So, um, you know, Amazon, you know, the reason you have to kind of do this is because Amazon's a little bit confused by this as well. So they need to, they need to clean this up, figure this out. You know, is it, is it Biotech? Is it Live Power? And, you know, whatever one it is, have, have that be the seller as well, right? But, um, yeah, so 
But basically, you know, it's a pretty compelling product. You know, it's not perfect, and you know, none of these are perfect. You know, again, I would like to see a little bit more amperage going into the solar input. I'd like to see that faster UPS. But, you know, otherwise, um, a lot of these specs, everything else is actually pretty good. And if you've really been wanting a power system with that, that voltage switching feature, this, you know, you might want to take a look at this thing, right? So, um, so yeah, hopefully I just kind of found this overview helpful, interesting, entertaining, whatever. And, yeah, thanks for watching.